that sounds like it's the right time. Chicago chapter math counts competition. I want to start by first thanking all of our wonderful sponsors. We have CNA who dedicates the use of this building to us every year, Illinois Society of Professional Engineers, APWA, as well as Millhouse Charity. I also want to make sure that we thank all of our coaches and parents. Without them, we would not be able to, to put this competition on every year. That's all I have. I want to bring on Laura McGovern, who will go over the rules and a welcome. Good morning, everyone. So excited that you're here. This is my favorite time of year. I just, it's math count season, and I'm so excited to see all of you because I know that someday I can retire because all these super smart people are here. So thank you for being excited about math, for working hard and getting here. I'm a civil engineer. I work in the transportation industry. I work on designing roads and bridges. So we just finished up the Chicago Riverwalk. I, hopefully a lot of you have seen that. Really neat, exciting project. Those are the kind of things I get to do because I loved math. I went into civil engineering and that's what I do today. This is a super important skill and you guys are the best of the best. Make sure you keep honing that talent and keep doing this kind of stuff because this is super, super cool. I do this because I believe in you guys, and I believe in you making our future a better place. So, so give yourselves a big round of applause. You guys are awesome just for being here. Good luck, have fun, and we will see you back here. I pledge to uphold the highest principles of honesty and integrity as a math lead. Good luck. I'm Marissa Volpe and I'm the um, Math Counts coach for Portage Park School. When I was in 7th and 8th grade, I think is right around when Math Counts first started. And I remember going with my teacher and thinking it was fun to see other kids from other schools who like math. And so I decided to start a team at our school and I wanted to give them the experience I had when I was younger. This is something that no one can take away from you and you definitely keep up with your um, math skills and just academics in general and you'll for sure be successful. Hi. And math counts wouldn't be possible without the volunteers who score the exams for us. Come on in and follow me. My name is Chris Freeman. I'm the Math Counts coach from the University of Chicago Laboratory Schools. What's important to me about Math Counts is the practice sessions. Uh, it's learning how to solve the hard problems. Coming to a competition is sort of the, the, the icing on the cake. Figuring them out is really fun. So practice is really important. So it's nice to win a trophy but it's also fun just to solve the hard problem. The, the skills that you learn in math counts will be really helpful in high school math classes. Um, so it's an opportunity where it doesn't, there's no grade hanging over your head. It's just doing it for the fun of it. Best wishes to all math count students. So I always hope that everyone does well. I'm the math 
grade team and we've done it for a few years and the kids really love it. They have a lot of fun and it's a lot of great experience. Uh, this is Andrew, he's been doing this for two years, yeah. if you want to share anything. Uh, last year, I loved it because it was fun and I got to meet other people. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What school are you from? Sacred Heart. You guys are all bad at math. No. Oh, you guys are really good. <laughs> so yeah. good. How do you guys like your coach? We oh, like him. Yeah. Yeah. He's the best. The best yeah. coach. Where's your coach? Here. Right there. Hi, coach. He's like, Do your best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Answer every question. Try. Don't give up. All that matters is you do your best. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank Good luck you. with the competition. All right, bye. Bye. Hello. 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 Do you want to tell us a little bit about math comps that you might want to tell other kids? Yeah. Tell everybody that doing math because you have to study a lot and make sure that you got everything down packed so you'll be more prepared. Really worth it? Yes, it is. Because I like the things that they had, like the way they would give us the question they did. They give us like a something to mix it up to make us think that we're gonna get it wrong, but when you end up finding out how to do it, you'll feel like you didn't do it right at first, but you get it now. I always like kind of love math. To me, it gives you a challenge, and I like that because like once you like learn how to do it, it, it makes you feel good about yourself that you actually know how to do it. Anything um, you'd like to say for future athletes? Um, um, always good work luck. Hard. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> And always try your best, even though that people might doubt you and say, oh, they're better than you, always try your best no matter what nobody else says. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Hi. 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 Uh, Hi. 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 What's the name of your team? Uh, the South Southwood South 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 Chicago Grammar <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> they have it wrong. Right. Chicago South Grammar Chicago. School. I think it's really neat. I think it really opens the kids' eyes to what's possible. I mean, we're a small school, and you know, it's these guys and seven other kids in their class, and then they all come out here, and it's you know, 250 kids doing math. And I think it's really eye opening for kids. For any kids that would not know about this and they want to do it next year. Do it. Give it, it. Give it a shot. It. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just it. do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All participants, please uh, make sure you listen to the rules of the round. In this round, I will read a problem to you as it is being projected on the screen. You will have a maximum of 45 seconds to solve the problem after it appears on the screen. This is a simple question. Jeffrey. 56. 57. 58. 59. 2 to the x, quantity to the 1 half, Jeffrey, 8. Hey, hey, hey. How? The question wasn't even done. Question. What is the degree? 40. 40 is correct. Wilbur and I have been the co-chairs of this event for many, many years. Uh, Wilbur went to school in the Chicago Public Schools. I went in the parochial schools. So we are you guys in, well, me in 30 years. Um, and, and him in a little bit less. Uh, but, but we show you what you can do. We're, we are examples of this. He, he owns a wonderful engineering company, 200 people employed. So these are the kind of things that you guys can do with just sticking with this. So you are all champions today just by being here, and you can be him. So give yourself a huge round of applause for being here. us is Sean O'Dell. Sean is with the American Public Works Association. He's our past president and he's helping us hand out awards. Sean is also an engineer from here in Chicago as well. He does a lot of water and wastewater treatment plants and, and pump stations. So the, the top team this year uh, is University of Chicago Lab School, Coach Chris Freeman. Jeffrey Chen. 
I won the countdown to the first place on our team and the first place in all of chapter. You got to know that. Thanks. Another great year at Math Count. Chicago Public Schools showed out in math, uh, did a great job. Our overall winner was University of Chicago Lab School. Uh, our overall winner had a perfect score. So exciting when we see those sorts of things. We know that our kids have great potential to really move on and um, win at the state competition as well, which will be on March 3rd in Lyle. These mathletes are absolutely phenomenal and they've worked so hard to get here. And we keep our fingers crossed that we're successful at state. Bye, everybody.